Hello everybody. Today we're going to make some sirloin steak. I'm going to do the reverse grilling. So I will start it in the oven and finish it on the stove top. I think it makes the meat um, a little bit more tender. Also, it's a lean meat, so it's not that much fat in there. So you definitely want to make sure that it's juicy. So I think the reverse searing method is better. Then we're going to do some spinach, sauteed spinach. I'm gonna put a fresh onion in there and a few peppers from yesterday since we have left over. Um, so we have a few peppers left over we'll put in there. And then I'm gonna do some Parmesan potatoes. So we have two types of potato to give us a little bit of um, difference in taste. And we'll put like some parsley, Italian seasoning, garlic, and then we'll put a little olive oil and finish it off with Parmesan cheese. And of course we'll have some mixed garlic and our butter here. I will do so many videos, put them all together and present them to you guys. So you guys stay tuned. All right, a little bit on what's going on here. So I added the olive oil and salted the pan. The pan is on low. I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit. So what's in here is probably a third of a bell pepper, um, red, yellow, green, and a half of an onion, probably a tablespoon, of, a tablespoon of olive oil, and a tablespoon of butter, and then a little bit of Mrs. Dash is in there. And then I'm gonna add about two or three handfuls of spinach, probably about a cup, cup and a half, because it's just me and the hubby here. So I'm gonna get this going. Oh, and I have a tablespoon. You see that? That's about a tablespoon of. Um, minced garlic so I just want to get these flavors going spinach cooks very very quickly so it's no need to I want to get these kind of softened up before so there's no need to put it in right now um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these flavors going and then I'll add that spinach at the end again I want these videos to be quick to the point so I'll come back when um, I add the spinach all right, so we have our sirloin here, and I'm just gonna season it with the salt, pepper on both sides, and a little acid. Um, that's it. And I'm gonna use a little bit of mixed garlic and olive oil and butter mixture, sear it on all sides, and throw it in the oven. I was gonna do the reverse searing. I changed my mind. I'm gonna do it the other way. It should still be tender. I will start it on the stove top and finish it in the oven all right so i'm going to go ahead and set my um oven to 350 i'll be back soon look at those babies y'all look at those babies all right quick these are the potatoes i added some italian seasoning himalayan pink himalayan salt a little bit of this lemon pepper mr dash a little you don't want that lemon um, to overpower it parsley and garlic powder and then what I'm gonna do is toss it in some olive oil. And then when it comes out of the oven and it's hot, I wanna toss it again with some grated Parmesan cheese. And that's it. All right, just to bring this back a little bit. So what I did here, I um, I did add a little sesame oil, just like two, three drops. Just, it's so strong and powerful, but it takes these the spinach to another level. And then I put a little, I see you, I know you guys probably see that right there. I put a, probably a tablespoon of bacon bits in there. I didn't want too much salt going on. And I put a little bit of Himalayan salt in there as well, pink Himalayan. So it's good. I tasted it. I took it off the stove because I did not want the greens to turn that light, light, dull green. You want all your food to still be bright with its colors that's what i think um i think it tastes not only does it taste better it gives it a crunch so it gives you some texture to your food but it also keeps a lot of the nutrients from the vegetables so uh, we have spinach and actually it's spinach mixed with kale um a yellow pepper i mean a yellow <laughs> yellow onion and then all the peppers yellow green red i think that's it and then a little bit of garlic, a little bit of sesame oil. Um, and then I put butter, olive oil to saute it in a pan. And here we have it. It's really good. Look at that. Look at that. I'm telling you, it's good. I just tasted it to make sure that it was good. I also changed pots because the other one's too shallow. 
We are rocking and rolling. Yeah. Look at these roasted potatoes. They have Parmesan cheese on them. Here's my plating. I started with a black plate um, just because someone randomly left this at my house. So I'm like, hey, I have one black plate. But here's where I switch over to my uh, white plates. And this is what I usually do. I am seriously working on my plating skills. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Please um, subscribe and like and share. Thank you.